guys welcome to my channel i'm april honey and this is apollo today we're going to be touring the island of cotton by sandy also known as blooming acnh over on instagram i'll put a link to their instagram down in the description as well as the dream address if you would like to follow along let's get started so cotton is a spring core a city island if you can't tell and all of these custom codes right here on the path were made by sandy super cool i love the way this is so right off the bat we're gonna come in and there is a lot of pink because it is set in cherry blossom season the road to resident services is a super cool I love the way this works in City Core Islands. This is just one of the greatest entrances to have. Honestly, it's just to have a road. And I love the way there's a divider between the road. Super awesome. It looks so nice. Down on the front beach, we have some simple decor, which I totally vibe with. And let's get, let's go this way. We're just gonna go over the bridge right, right from the beginning. Let's see, over here, we also have some boats and things that you typically belong on beaches over on the beach. Go figure, I know. And then we have what looks like a little fish area or fish market kind of area. And then back over here, we have a city neighborhood. I love a good diagonal neighborhood. I also love when it looks like there's commerce and stuff going on on the sides of the houses and the buildings. This over here is another residence house. It looks super nice. I love the way it's set on like a little cul-de-sac or like a dead end street. Looks really great. Let's head on this way. Yeah, let's go this way. We're gonna go over here and I think this road leads to the Able Sisters. The Able Sisters look super appropriate for a city island. I love it. The terraforming on this island is gonna be very simple because it is city core. So city core is typically decorated with a lot of decor, which I love and I've never been able to accomplish because I mostly do a lot of natural islands. You guys know me. I am trying to do a town core island, but we'll see how that goes. And then this is the road that leads to resident services. This island is absolutely beautiful. I was super impressed by the custom codes and I will put the creator code down on the bottom if you guys would like to try to use this creator code. Also, it is up on their Instagram. They did post it over there, so you should definitely go give them a follow on Instagram. And here we have another villager neighborhood. I love these kinds of neighborhoods with the cute little touches and the houses on the bottom and what looks like a garage and like a little dog house. So cute. I love the way that looks. I love the Takanami build side thing shelf with the um, fencing in front of it and the plant partition to make it look like an actual building side. It looks so good. That is such a great touch. I would have never thought to do anything like that as long as well as the wide display stand in front like that's that's pretty ingenious very very cool so this island is very pastel which i love there's like pops of dark colors to add contrast but just the right touch and i love the pastel little um, touches on this island i do love like the aesthetic of just the whole pastel cherry blossom aesthetic it looks really neat very beautiful it's like a city island but it's not like trashy city it's like elegant beautiful city you know i mean there are papers on the floor but even those look pretty let's go around this edge right over here and we're gonna come to this other diagonal road I love a good diagonal road and it looks like there's going to be a building back here. Wow, that's a really cool um, building site. I think those are simple panels back there. It took me forever to register that, but they really are. And then there's another diagonal road over here with another villager house. And I love this. I love the steel, um, 
what is it called? You know, the steel construction thingy over there holding the butterfly, that thing. I, I can't think of what it's called off the top of my head right now, but I love the way that looks right there. It looks so good. And then if we move right along on this side of the street, we're gonna come to Baby Nooks. Oh my goodness, I love Baby Nooks Cranny, you guys. If you wanna keep your nooks as a baby, make sure you don't buy anything. Go to Treasure Islands, don't buy anything at all. And keep your island in the same 30 days and then nooks will never upgrade. And it's fantastic, I love it so much. And then we over here we have it looked like a house but it's not it's just a it's a storefront but it's a little traveling station and oh my gosh this is so cute there's a little picnic area right here by the little ponds oh it's like a little um like a little kind of park area it's definitely giving oasis it really is it is so cute though, such a beautiful little area, just a hidden gem on this island. Got your hand washing station, which you must, must wash your hands, right? And then we have a little sugar cane farm right there, which I love, so cute. I am gonna go to the back of the island, you guys. I just wanna make sure I see the front of the island is all. So to the left of resident services, if we go back behind it, we have a little storefront over here, which I love. It appears to be a little bookstore. It might be under construction from what it looks like. Very cute. I love that. I love the truck in front. Looks so good. Very realistic. I do love that we have cars in Animal Crossing now. They do add so much. And the storefronts, like everything we used to make with simple panels and bookshelves, we can now add the storefronts to that for a little bit of roofing and texture. And I do appreciate that. Here we have the museum. The museum looks gorgeous over here. It is very simple, but I love this stone path that kind of interwove. Can we talk about this for a minute? This is a yoga mat, you guys, and it took me forever to figure that out. I'm like, is that a custom code? How did she make that? These are yoga mats. Like, how ingenious is that? Oh my gosh. Wow, I didn't even know. That's amazing. And then down here, we have some boats, some people camping out on the beach, which I love. So cool more boats this reminds me of hawaii right here the cardboard on the beach the cardboard boxes on the beach and then the peninsula looks gorgeous we have a lighthouse situation going on on the peninsula and it looks beautiful of course of course the lighthouse keeper has to have a car how else would they get here right finally i think i've seen the the whole front of the island but let me go double check Okay, so we have seen the whole front of the island. I'm going to go up the stairs now and enter the second level of the island. This is also very cute. We have an unloading station over here um, next to the phone booth. I love that. I do love that the blue was brought in as for the storefronts in order to break up a lot of the pink. And I like a lot of these black and gray touches. Those look really nice. So here we have a very beautiful house over here. And then a land bridge, because of course. Wow, look at the yoga path, path over there. The stone path is everything on that side. What do we have over here? Over here we have city vibes. I love this, I love this land bridge situation. I always love a good land bridge situation, I do. This looks so good especially the elevated ones they're just so cool and then up here it looks like we're gonna have maybe like a train station it gives train station vibes for sure and then we of course we have the little city core area right here i'm gonna go down to the yoga mat path like wow and then we even have a little garden right there i love that 
Hang on, let's go visit the, the path. Look at this, this is so cool. I would have never thought to do something like this. This is amazing. I love it. So if you see that I've used this on my island now, we can thank Blooming ACNH for teaching me this little hack right here. This is so cool. I love that I'm still learning new things in this game and you guys are the ones teaching it to me. I've been playing since launch for four years now and I am constantly still learning. I love this. We have a little pear farm and I guess they're making pear jelly, but it looks a little scientific. So I don't know. I don't know if I would buy it necessarily. And then here we have a little loading and unloading area, which I always love those on city islands. They're so appropriate. We have a beautiful bridge with a little scene back there. I love how we have the floor, flower storage on the back of the island. That's so relatable to me. It really is. It tells me that they're going to keep the island afterwards and possibly just redecorate it, which I love. And then we're going to go around this way. And what do we have here? We have a part of a rock garden. Is it the whole rock? <gasps> It is, you guys, for anyone looking for rock garden inspiration, here you go. Thank you, Blooming ACNH, for this beautiful rock garden inspiration. I never would have thought to have them. And this design, I usually do the very typical, like three on one side, three on the other, like, you know, the typical hexagonal um, design that we do. But this, this is original. And I love this. It looks so good. We've got our little baby over here. Hopefully mommy doesn't leave him too long. And the residence house. We're gonna go along this way and this looks so good. I love the way the residence house is set right here. It looks absolutely amazing. This is just really good. I love a good city. And everything is so easy to navigate. Maybe I need to go slower. We've got Diana here. She's so cute. And then we have another backyard shed and gardening area right there. Super cool. So the thing about this island is there's not a ton of like builds per se, but everything looks really good. Do you know what I mean? We have a little campsite right here and it just looks so good. So I love this back alley kind of enclosed feeling. And then we do have a bit of nature with the cliffs right over here. Those are really nice. I'm trying to see if I could get up here. It does look so pretty up here. It is very beautiful. I'm not supposed to be up here, so I'm going to get back down. But still, it did look very beautiful and I love it. So, you know, we had to. Okay, so sadly, we are at the end of our tour. I'm sorry it was a little bit short. The island was so easy to navigate to that. I just went through it super fast. It was very, very beautiful. If you want to take a look at everything individually, I highly encourage you come to this dream address. Get some city core inspiration. It was absolutely stunning. Thank you so much to Sandy, aka blooming.acnh over on Instagram for allowing me to tour your beautiful island. Um, thank you guys so much for joining me. I appreciate you so much. I know you could be anywhere in the entire world and you chose to hang out with me for just a little bit and that means so much to me. I hope everyone has an amazing day or night and I will see you in the next one. Bye.